After more than four decades at the helm of Connecticut's top Italian pastry shop, you'd think John DeMarco would be ready to slow down. It's a millefoglia cake. Millefoglia cake is very popular. Think again. 43 years went by like if it was a year and a half ago. In fact, DeMarco, who owns Luigi's Italian Pastry and Wedding Cake Center in Bridgeport, is not only still going strong, he continues to break new ground. His latest tantalizing dessert is the cannoli pie, which he sells in about 60 stores around Bridgeport. How many pies did the guy picked up? 20. Picked up 20 pies, and he's a, just a regular customer. They pick up 10 pies, they pick up 20 pies, they pick up 30 pies. We can't make them fast enough. Even with a 10,000 square foot plant, where Luigi's now does much of its baking, plus a showroom on Main Street where Luigi sells Italian pastries seven to seven, seven days a week. Number one pastry, uh, it's the cannoli, miniature cannoli. The number two pastry are, are the miniature sfugliadels. Miniatures full of elves. The miniatures full of elves. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we just shut the buzzer off and uh, people just keep on pouring in. I come out and kiss and hug everybody, even the guys. <laughs> What's your favorite? What do you what do you like? Oh god. Everything. <laughs> I spend outrageous money on them cookies because I love them. We have the Chrysler Miles, we have Biscotto Regina. We have the finger cookies, we have the chocolate chips for the kids. Uh, we do also a whole lot of uh, pitcher cookies. Certain items we make, if it doesn't move it, we just, we just discontinue making it. A simple recipe, but only one ingredient to Luigi's success. I love people, and the return, people love me. Which is why Luigi's has employed many of the same bakers for decades. Jose, Frank, uh, Iris, uh, Donna, they've all been here over 20 years. DeMarco has even had the same secretary for 34 years. Ryan Panak. It's, it's the way we treat one another. We treat one another like family. Good man. The sentiment is extended to Bridgeport, where Luigi's is known for its benevolence. John does many things in this community. He's a, a person that's very giving, and uh, he's very good to St. Vincent's swim across the Sound. He's there to donate product. He's there to chair events for us. Uh, he gets friends to come to uh, events. And make no mistake, this guy's got friends in the highest places. Well, Bobby Rydell has been here. Victor damon has been here. Uh, uh, Victor Lance has been here. A lot of the baseball players, uh, like uh, Bobby Valentani is a good friend of ours. He's been here many times. Uh, they will call and say, okay, we're going to stop by and uh, have a an espresso with John. Uh, we're gonna have uh, a cannoli with John. All made the old-fashioned way. We still use the uh, scratch recipes. Uh, we still use the real eggs, real butter, real milk. We whip the egg whites, we whip the egg yolks, and then we, you know, we add on the flour, the sugar, and uh, fold it, and then bake it out, bake it off. This is what it looks like when it come out of the oven. We started a miniature page 3, 43 years ago and uh, we are famous in miniature pastry. About 60 different pastries and 60 different cookies, plus birthday and wedding cakes. We normally spend uh, anywhere from uh, an hour for each, uh, each appointment uh, uh, with the bride and the groom. If it takes longer, it takes longer. With it all, DeMarco is most excited these days about his cannoli pies, which now also come in sugar free. He has 12 people making them every day just to meet demand. And lately, uh, one moves, one moves uh, and we can make them fast enough out of the cannoli pies. Yeah. Once you have a piece, you'll come back the next day and uh, buy another pie. That's, how, that's, the, way I, that's the way I feel. <laughs>